What is the difference between brand name and generic medications? Well, the short answer is not much, but there are a few exceptions and we will go over them later in the video. To explain the similarities and differences between brand name and generic medications, let's look at two grilled chicken sandwiches. First off, what two parts make up the basic grilled chicken sandwich? Grilled chicken and bread. Here we have two sandwiches with the exact same type of chicken and the exact same type of bread. Now it's hard to eat a sandwich that is just bread and chicken, so I'm going to add some lettuce, cheese, and mayo. Now it's really yummy and I want to eat it. But here's where the sandwiches differ. The lettuce and cheese come from different farms and each sandwich has a different type of mayonnaise. Let's also pack one sandwich in foil and the other in a brown bag. And both of these sandwiches have the same amount of calories and they both taste pretty good. So you would think that these two sandwiches would be similar in price, right? But they aren't. Sandwich A is like $50 and sandwich B is $5. So it should make sense that you would choose sandwich B over sandwich A. Brand name and generics are pretty much the same as these grilled chicken sandwiches. The active ingredients are the same, but some of the fillers used in the medicine may be different. These fillers, like the lettuce, cheese, and mayo, help make the medicine turn into a form that you could put into your body. Brand and generic may have different packaging, but they are still pretty much the same. When shopping, if two different looking medicines have the same active ingredient, the same milligram count, the same form, for example, capsule, tablet, chewable, and the same dosing schedule, for example, twice a day or once a day, then that means that they are the same. So I mentioned our sandwiches use different mayo brands, and say some people are allergic to mayo brand B, and some are allergic to mayo brand A. In the same way, people may be negatively affected by the fillers in a generic medication, and some people may be negatively affected by the fillers in the brand name medication. Now if we put our two sandwiches through a taste test, we will find that they pretty much have the same level of deliciousness. They differ by a marginal amount. Similarly, generics have to go through something called bioequivalent studies to make sure that they are absorbed in the body in a similar manner to the brand name drug. Like our taste test, the absorption can only differ by a marginal amount. Are there any exceptions to the rule? Well, yeah. Let's say that we asked Super Chef Gordon Ramsay to taste test our two sandwiches. I imagine he would be able to tell the difference between the extra ingredients and maybe he would just throw up sandwich B because it was just so disgusting for him. For, for certain medicines, the amount absorbed is very critical to determining if the medicine works well or if the medicine becomes toxic in your body. These are called narrow therapeutic window medicines. With these medicines, everything has to be super precise. Like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, you can't have too much or too little. You need an amount that is just right. In this case, your body is kind of like Gordon Ramsay and it needs the medicine to be absorbed perfectly, otherwise you may fall sick. Here is a list of narrow therapeutic window medicines, and remember you have to be cautious when switching from brand name to generic for these specific drugs. For all other drugs, switching between brand and generic should be fine. And remember, it's always best to ask your pharmacist or doctor for help regarding generic medications. Thank you for watching, please comment, rate, subscribe, let me know if you have any questions or concerns in the comment box below, and thanks again!